Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate it so much. For today's video, I have my Peperomia scandens variegata that I have been ignoring for quite a long time now. It's been in need of a repot for about four months. It's kind of looking a bit sad and I have been putting it off and putting it off and Currently it is 8.30 in the evening and I've decided that I am going to repot this baby. As you can see, there's quite a bit of yellowing up and through the top. The leaves, the lower leaves are looking kind of sad, a little bit of yellowing. And I have a feeling that this plant is either a bit root bound or just in need of a soil change. It's been about two years since this plant has been repotted, so it's definitely time. So let's get into the video and we will get this repot started. Okay guys, so again, if I sound a little muffly, I am wearing my mask only because I don't wanna breathe in any soil. So the first thing I am going to do with this plant is currently I have it in one of those cheaper Dollar General pots that have the, the hooks that once you put them in, they're really hard to get back out. So I'm just going to cut those off. And I think I have another brand new, one of these same kind of pots. And I'll probably just grab one of the new ones. Okay, we've got that cut off. <clears throat> And I do have a feeling that I am probably, I don't want to, but I have a feeling I'm probably going to break some stems. The stems are already feeling pretty weak on this plant anyway. Just because like I said, it's not in the best shape right now. So hopefully this will make a difference anyway. Boy, this one's going to be tricky. All right, here we go. Got it. I miss it being summertime. Things were so much easier when it comes to repotting. All right, let's see. I'm going to lay it down so I can show you guys the root system. Hopefully you can see that. So the root systems on Peperomias are super fine. They do not have large roots, but I can see that in through the bottom here, there's definitely a lot of root growth. So I'm thinking that this is definitely a bit root bound. I'm not gonna mess with the roots too much. I'm just loosening up this bottom area You guys can see these roots here, super fine. Okay, so now I am going to go grab a brand new pot that has the new hangers. Okay guys, I found a new pot. It's just one of those little Dollar General pots. I put some orchid bark at the bottom just to cover up 
the drainage holes a little bit so that the soil doesn't fall out. And let's move this guy over a little bit. Okay, I have my soil mixture here, which is, I think this one is a cactus palm citrus soil mix. And I did add some orchid bark and a little extra perlite to this as well. And I should probably get my, some mosquito bits. Be right back. Okay, I usually add the mosquito bits into my mix when I'm mixing it. But my husband mixed this last batch. So I'm just going to add them in as we go. All right, I think that should be good. Well, almost like this are a pain in the butt, I think. Hence the reason why I haven't repotted it. All right, I'm gonna knock off a little bit more soil around this top. Just a little bit. Because I really don't have any bigger size pots than what this plant was already in. So, so we're just going to have to deal with the size. And once the soil is refreshed and changed out, it'll be fine. I kind of want to see how this is going to hang. Okay. Never fails. I always seem to make a pretty good mess. And depending on how these stems look, in a couple of days, <clears throat> I may end up pruning this one back as well. I probably could have used a bigger pot. But this is what I have right now, so this is what we are going to work with. So this Peperomia scandens, I have this one sitting in my northwest facing window. So it doesn't get a lot of bright light. It sits in a corner and it basically just gets filtered light throughout the day. How are you guys? This was not an easy plant to choose for a repot, a recorded repot. What was I thinking? Enjoying the holiday season. 
or enjoying it the best that you can anyway. We have been doing a little bit of shopping, but for the most part, we've been spending a lot of our days at home, watching some movies, and just enjoying spending some time together. Which really, when you think about it, is what the season is all about. Just spending time with those you love. Right, let's see. Get some soil. Hopefully you guys are able to see what I'm doing in this video. Not the best angle. Well, I'm thinking that this plant will probably be good for a year, maybe. Definitely don't want to let it go two years ago. It was too long. Okay, we're almost done. The other side one more time. And I have made a really good mess. Gosh. Pretty much my hand has been through this whole video. guys get the gist anyway all right so that looks pretty good in through there so now I think it was pretty dry when I brought it out here so I am going to water this one in pretty good untangle it and I'll get the hanger on and then I will be back in a second. Okay guys, I got the hanger on. So now I am just going to water this baby in. Okay, so repotting this plant was definitely a little more on the difficult side. Uh, definitely the reason, I think, subconsciously why I didn't want to repot it. So anyway, it's done. Good deed done, right guys? Always feels good to get a plant repotted that's been needing it. So I did end up putting some mosquito bits in through the top here. Because you know, we don't want to be dealing with any gnats. And I think this plant is going to be doing much better in a couple of months. It may end up having a rough start only because it was definitely in rough shape. It really wasn't maintaining the moisture level either, so that was definitely another indication that it needed to be repotted. Right, now I gotta wash off all these leaves because I did end up getting them pretty dirty as well. not to break any stems. Ah.
Okay, I think that's it. It's watered in really well. Now I'm going to hang it up and let it drain out. Okay guys, all done with the repot. This was definitely, this was a tricky one. She's all settled in her new pot. I'm thinking she's probably gonna be sad for a little while until she acclimates to the new soil and being repotted, but I think after a few weeks, she's gonna be fine. So anyway, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what she's looking like now. Okay, here she is. Hopefully I didn't stress her out too much. I think I am going to propagate some of these vines and fill in that top area eventually, maybe in the springtime, but hopefully this plant will start to do a little bit better for me. So pretty though, right? Okay guys, that is it for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content of my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you here along with us. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.